Howdy YouTube neighbors, this episode of Mutator Madness is coming at you at uh, 8.43 p.m. For those who care about that kind of thing, I have no idea who you are, but welcome to my channel. Uh, this is uh, JC Locke, and today we have a, a nasty one. Uh, we're 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 gonna pay for our high roll this time around because we've we've only rolled one negative, but it's a it's it's an it's the nastiest. Well, it's one of the nastiest. Uh, we start with no champion, and we don't have anything to replace it. No Hef, no Dante, and no Limbo unit banners. Uh, on the upside, we scored Yeet Apocalypse, so we get uh, we're gonna have eight free purges over the course of the run. And uh, all of our units are going to be quick. So hopefully that's enough to make the difference. And uh, I already know what my first purge is going to be. This uh, pile of uselessness right here. Alright, who are we up against? Damage Shield Daedalus, okay. Uh, our standard Arcus. So I've got tombs. The trick there is going to be to remember not to play tombs on a rally shard, and then sap seraph. So, well, let's see what the run holds for us. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, this run apparently has the deuce for us. Uh, it's it's got to be Hell's Banners. I I hear I think. <sighs> I absolutely cannot take this horde here, unfortunately. Please be a unit draft. It's a unit draft. Ew. Okay, it's a unit draft. We may not survive, but we've got to try. We have to try. And <laughs> we're already off to a really bad start. Root seeds in the back. Steel enhancer. Primitive mold for an entombed explosive. Sevens. Next turn is still not enough. So let's keep our reform pool clear. Yuck. Okay. Okay. the other consumed one? Yeah, the other entombed explosive. Unfortunately, I can only fit one on the floor, so start here. We're at 140. Alright, we have the kill here, somehow. Ugh. <sighs> Lack of any more scaling. I'm going to take another Steel Enhancer. I'm going to pick up a Draft. Okay. Three very good units here. This is actually going to be a difficult decision. Let me consider... Uh, I'm 
I'm going to the Awoken banner. So I think I like Wickless Baron as an infusion. And <laughs> Mandatory Purge. That's a great band name. Okay. Uh, it's definitely going to be Bramble Lash. That is a no-brainer. Alright, what's the steel shop have for me? <laughs> Quick. But there is a plus 25 in there. That is going to be look really good on my favorite unit in the game, Shattered Shell. Well, my favorite uncommon unit, at least. I'm going to go ahead and make the infusion now. Yeah, Wickless Baron into Shattered Shell. Alright. I'm taking on no more shards here. And I'll buy that plus 25. And move along. Ring 2. Armor 10. Uh, it, it's risky, but I think it's worth it. Oh no, hasty boys. This is going to be rough. Yeah, I don't kill any of them. And Root Seeds is not going to be enough. Yep. Okay. I'll get the Collector at least. Alright, how much damage am I in for here? Okay, that's not too bad. Could have gone worse for certain. But, now we're rolling. 25 damage is enough to kill everything on the floor. Uh, I actually think I would rather have the draw for... And then one root seeds. All right, we are good. Sharpen. Is that better or worse than another steel enhancer? I am going to take it regardless. Ooh, okay, okay. Look at you, Wicklash. But I have no burnout extension. If I'm going to run Wicklash, I have to. have to get hold over. And I don't even see a magic shop until four. I think I think I have enough scaling. Let's not let's not mess around with Wicklash. Molded on the other hand. Definitely worth. Useless. <laughs> uh I think I'll take another Wickless Baron here. Mandatory Purge. And I'll start getting rid of Train Stewards. Okay. I'm of two minds here.
I think the f well. If I swing left, I can have another harvest shell. If I swing right, then I have a potentially run defining artifact. And a remnant banner. So potentially something to infuse into my harvest boy here. Nonetheless, I think it's correct to go double sweeper. Before I do, though, let's let's look into the caverns. Because this may change the scope of things. Uh, it does not. I don't see myself needing Bone Rattler. Oh, I'll, what am I? What am I doing here? No. Okay, we'll just take Bone Shine for lack of anything better to pick here. Forty shards. That is a low value magic shop. I think Yeah, I'm gonna swing right for steel, which means I need cash. Alright, fifty shards, but I'm I do not fear Daedalus. I can wait on that. No sense in blowing it for just five. Come on, Switch. Thank you. Come on, Switch. Thank you. 
I have no idea why it does that. We are playing three very ugly floors here, but... It is all good. Giving everybody quick goes a long way. I think I'm going to go ahead and bone shine it up here. I told you there was nothing to fear from Daedalus. Hmm. Definitely taking Unleash the Wildwood here. <laughs> I could have another Harvesting Sweeper. I don't have much in the way of healing, do I? No, just the Unleash the Wildwood. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double infuse a Baron. I need space to pull this off. And... Let's do my mandatory purge. <laughs> Alright, last call. Tempting, but no. I'm the wrong kind of awoken for that. Alright. Kill off these train stewards. <laughs> Baron into Baron. that I want to take on more shards, but <sighs> it might be worth a dispel chain uh, steel enhancer. I got temples on 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, I, I've got time to figure it out. Okay. So we have our units. Large stone cannot use it. And endless. I would not mind an endless tomb. Alright. Let's move on. What have we got? We got Party Boy? No. Ugh. That being said, I am not afraid of multi-strike. And finding the double harvest artifact would be ace here. can't do it. So I'll put the Entombed Explosive down and get my line started upstairs. I don't want to kill you off, but I do want to weaken you and, you know, get the extra ember. Yep, 
Yeah. That looks great. Oh no, I accidentally killed him. How? I should have only done 100 damage. Am I missing something? I do not know. Oh, because... Oh, yeah. Because the Intuned Explosive actually swings at him. So he has 140. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him off with this. Wow, but he's actually not going to die. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright. Now let's start working upstairs. I am not going to actually kill him off. What a world. Now I'll take 10 here. Put some damage into you. Put a sharpen into you. Yep, I'm going to take another 12. <sighs> this was expensive. Take the Hell Spanner's money. Or, not money, but, uh, Ember. And we should be good here, I think. Yeah. Heal up my units to full. Yeah. This is a, this is a good looking floor. Ah, guild markers, good. Not what I was looking for, but definitely good. Uh, I'm going to skip these. Votavary. Let's see. I like Engulfed in Smoke as a divinity plan. Mandatory purge. <laughs> Uh, let's see. At this point... I don't anticipate doing anything with a draft. Huh. Divine Artifact, huh? Going into Ring 5? Uh, despite that showing, I think I'd rather have the gold here. Hmm. High value every way. At this point, all I'm really looking for here is multi-strike. So it's just the caverns versus potentially two artifacts. Oh, let's see this one. Uh, that's kind of garbage, but winged indulgence is not nothing. Let's peep the trinket shop. Nah. Let's 
try again. Uh, Emblem of the Exiles is useful. That's really the only one. I am going to go ahead and chance this Divine Horde here. Yuck. Okay. Improved Firebox it is. Purges here, I think, is going to be... Primitive molds, both of them. Well, I kind of regret not going left now. What are you going to do? Spikes four? Uh, okay, this may be where I die. But I have countermeasures. And I just drew one at the worst possible time. <laughs> well, might as well give the stealth to my lead. This is not good. That was a super rough opening hand. Yeah, I'm taking pyre damage here, and it's going to be somewhat significant. Oof, okay. You go here. You go here. Man, taking more pyre damage. I'm just not scaling. And this may be where I die. Yep. Dang. The sad thing is... I made a really stupid choice here. A really stupid choice. I got greedy. And there is there's no way out. So I'm just gonna let it end here, call this one a good episode of Lock Loses a Monster Train, and curse my luck for one, having gotten the no champion without anything to compensate. And then two, uh, that, that draw there. But I knew there were draws that could kill me, and I still took that challenge anyway. Well, uh, thank you for joining me on this unfortunate run. Uh, I hope it was at least uh, entertaining and a good... Uh, uh, a good warning lesson to uh, to those who are looking to be as greedy as me. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time.